okay and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial the first thing i intend to do is to be able to work with this button there so we want to be able to make that visible equals force anytime you click on it so so that you can get to the other part of the program so let's copy it if i run it now what will happen is click on that that become visible when i click on this close i want it to be i want that very button to become visible again so let's go in there and just drag this aside double click on that very button paste that in there and make make that true okay so when i run this program let's close it and align that very button it is right there somewhere there okay run the program now click on that and click on that now you see how it works so the next thing for me to do is to then enter some data into this combo box so let's do that now okay the next thing now is uh, to take care of this converter so let's move this down let's click on that and check out the name that's uh, cmd convert so all right see md convert then we need to now go into the form double click on the form and where it says form initialize let's look for that there we go form initialize right there let's get rid of this we don't need this and right there so form initialize i'll enter cmd undo that cmd convert dot text equals so let's enter as follows that's given the user an option to select one of the choice okay so we also need the cmd convert cmd convert dot add item and the first item i'll be adding let's go for let's go for brazil that's actually dot add item and that will be brazil okay close that then might as well just copy this and just add the other Okay, the next one, let's go for Canada there, yeah. change that to Canada. And maybe here we go for India. And then we go for Nigeria. And then maybe we go for Indonesia. I think the spelling is right and let's enter Philippines yeah I think I'm right then finally let's enter USA so what will happen is when I run the program all of this information will be displayed on on my combo box if I click on that drop this down you see I can just select any of those and the next thing is just to write a code for, for me to be able to convert so let's close that and move this up double click on the converter button there we go and right there right here I'm meant to enter the following lines of code but before that I should have declared some variables Let's declare bin US dollar as double. Now let's say bin Nigeria Nigerian underscore Naira.
So you just enter the, the rest of the declaration. There they are. Now I have all my all my variables in place. So I now need to go back to things btn convert right there. There we go. So the first thing is let's enter the variable. That's the variable right there. So the pound sign. So whatever is entered in the text box is then stored in the pound sign. And all of these values you see here, this is supposed to be the conversion rate for these countries. I don't think those conversion rates are right. So it's left for you to always validate your own conversion rate. But I'm just using this just for this tutorial. So you can always check that out and correct it. Okay, the next thing is let's enter the following lines of codes. So we start by using if statement. So if cmd convert.txt equals, let's go for Nigeria. Okay, close that. Then dot text dot text or oh, not text sorry I'm actually working in VBA that should be a caption dot caption equals the variable British pounds right here copy that paste that in there multiply by Nigerian Naira, which is right here. Copy and paste that here. And just close that. Okay. Then I also need to assign the country's currency currency size. So label equals think and should represent that of Nigeria Naira and maybe add a space here and by value whatever the conversion rate is all right enter that in there okay now let's go for the second country with else else if so I'm just going to copy all of this and just change the countries around. Copy. So if the country is, um, let's go for Kenya. Kenya. You have to make sure the spelling of the country is right. So in this case, we have Kenyan shilling. So let's get that, copy that shilling copy that and just paste it right here and that is Kenya taking care of let's separate that I can just copy this as well go for the other country paste the next country now let's go for the USA we have a dollar here we have a dollar here then we also have USA right there. Okay, the next country maybe we should go for Canada. And maybe for that, we might as well end this so that we don't forget that. And right here, enter Canada right there. supposed to be dollar let's change that to dollar that's for USA and Kenyan shilling maybe KS I don't know if I'm right but, uh, now let's do another one let's go for 
this time around let's go for maybe um, Brazil yeah copy that and paste it right there Brazil maybe the CBRA I don't know if I'm right like I said earlier on change this to Brazil let's change the let's change rate to rate to Brazil and enter the country's name there okay now let's copy and the other country now maybe India let's copy the Indian variable paste that in there and now the India units I don't know I just put in N I N R now maybe we should go for Philippines copy that just change that to Philippines I think it's the same spell and just get rid of that might be right though yeah and uh, the currency index i don't know let's put that there now copy this it's supposed to be the philippines pieces uh, maybe indonesia indonesia this look for that I think this might be the Indian one. Yeah, change that, and this one will be Indonesia here. And this is Indonesia's one. And that will be I N O. Or maybe I N D R, something like that, and just leave this the way it is. Okay, so else we ask them to select an option right there. So I think that'll be all for the that'll be all for the currency converter. So let's click on that, select whatever country we intend to select, and just enter that in there. Convert that's correct. Let's come here. Yep, let's give us a try let's give canada a try and brazil that's good india philippines indonesia okay that's good so it all works as expected supposing i intend to choose something else so it is it's still not working the way I want. And let's go back into the codes. Code is there somewhere. Right here. Okay, we we'll go back into the code. Let's double click on this close button. Right there in the close button. We want this to reset itself to that. And we expect the I want this as one here yeah, I think this should also appear on on the form load where is the form initialize we need that as well form initialize should be here somewhere right there so with the form initialize we give us that very option So let's say we are able to add that as well, but supposing we don't want to undo that. Let's see if I run it again. Yes, select whatever I want and close. 
and yeah that's fine so maybe I should leave it like that all right so I might as well just say this might be this is completed so calculator is done currency converter done all that is left for us to do now is to carry out the calculation here so that everything is displayed here so with that guys I'll just call it the end of this this second part of the tutorial actually so I'll just enter some values in there and, uh, yeah that's working as we want so I'll just call it the end of my second part of restaurant management system tutorial so I'll see you guys in the third and final part